Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a fun soap. I am going to be making Guinness beer soap uh, and it's it's awesome is what it is. Beer is awesome soap additive. Um, the alcohol sugars make a really fluffy lather. The hops and the malts are conditioning on your skin. It's a great additive to soap. So I'll show you the process. You have to flatten out the fuzz and uh, the bubbles and boil down the alcohol so it doesn't act weird in your lye solution. I'll bring you along as I do that whole process. For the fragrance, I'm gonna be using this bergamot and honey. And for a color swirl, I will be using this Gingerbread Brown Mica from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supply Plus. Um, just to do a little swirl in there, give it some interest. But beer bars are what we're making today. And I'll bring you along as I show you how I prep my beers for the lye solution and get it going. But it makes a great bar of soap. So come along and we'll make some beer soap. Also, if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook too. All right, I'm gonna show you how I um, am going to boil the alcohol off of my Guinness and flatten it obviously in the process. So I've um, got my little hot plate here. I'm just gonna turn it on and pour my beer in here. See all those bubbles? If you put the lye directly in this, you would have a divine volcano going. <laughs> you don't want that. So um, I'm gonna heat this up, stir it. It'll come to just a mild simmer and I'll let it simmer for a while until all the carbonation and um, the bubbles stop. Just a nice flat beer is what we're going for. And then uh, you can either freeze it after you do that, put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it so it's really easy to work with because the sugars in here are gonna heat up your lye also. So you have a couple of things going on with that. But what I'm gonna do is flatten this and cool it off and then uh, I have my distilled water is already frozen in ice cubes. So I'll use that to kind of bulk up the liquid portion to cool this off. So it's just a slow process. I'll bring you back as the bubbles start to uh, work their way through. Kind of boring, but that's what we're doing. We're going to boil some Guinness beer right now. All right, I'm bringing you back here. Um, and you can see as I stir this, there's just a very little bubbles and uh, it's on just a simmer. So I, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to boil this down to a simple syrup or anything, but you want to stir it and agitate it and see if the bubbles come up. And what you're looking for is when you stir it, it doesn't foam at all. Um, I mean, a couple little air bubbles are no big deal, but you don't want this to have any of the beer head left on it. So it's still got a little, I'm gonna keep warming it and just wait for it to basically just be flat. Um, so as my lye solution is cooling and I'll bring you back for the ice bath and adding the lye, I'm gonna be adding my additives to my oils here. I've got all my butters melted and in here, I've got my liquid oils and my hard oils. So this scoop is two tablespoons. I'm adding kale and clay. And I got these awesome containers just at um, the dollar store and they came with a scoop in them. They're perfect because I buy my kale and clay and I make my colloidal oats in bulk. Um, I either buy or make them. I have, ma I have a wheat grinder so I do make my own colloidal oats sometimes. And sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll buy them. But I love these containers and they come with a two tablespoon scoop, so they're great. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all blended into my oils and let them just kind of sit while we get our light uh, solution prepped. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil in here, which is the correct amount for the poundage of oils that I'm using. I do recommend a um, usage calculator for fragrance and all of that when you're doing soap. So again, this is the bergamot honey. It is such a gentle, wonderful fragrance. I love it. And I'm adding it straight in my oils because it says it doesn't cause any acceleration. I think it'll behave well. And that way when I split my batter to do my color swirl and stuff, all the fragrances and everything. I do like to do that when I can. Um, if you know fragrance is going to behave and I, I, you know, it's just an easy way to do it and not have to worry about measuring out the correct amount for each portion of batter. So it's kind of the cheater method. If, it, if you know you have a fragrance that's going to behave, it's, it's a nice way to do it. So I'm ready to get my lye solution going. So I've got my beer in here. It's cooled off a little bit. Um, so I measured it out and I'm going to add some ice cubes in here to get it up to the weight that I need. All right, 
get it in my ice bath, and then I'll add my lye solution. And just get to stirring this. Tip this up so you can see. It's starting to heat a little bit. It gets that sort of beigey look to it. So it's definitely heating up, but it's not volcanoing. And that's what we want. And again, even if it did volcano, I have it in this bowl. I got my gloves on, so everything would be protected. You would just, you know, it would just be a hot mess. But um, no volcanoing. We've got it successfully added in here. The lye is melted, but even with the ice, that's still very warm. Got a nice ice bath going and we'll just let this uh, cool all the way down. And we're all ready to go. We're about 85 degrees on here and about 90 degrees on the beer lye solution here which does have tussa silk fibers and I did put in some sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in here. Um, so we're close enough to mix together. I've got some split off going on here. I'm going to add a little black walnut hull powder to the whole thing because I thought it would just add to the whole, I don't know, feel of it. And we'll split off for our colors. So I'm going to pull my stick blender out now and I will stick blend later after we get our color split off in emulsion. But I will hand stir the lye in. wonderful beer lye solution in here and if you add beer to your soap and you boil it down like you do it does not have an odor your soap's not going to smell like beer now they do make really wonderful beer fragrance oils um, so if you want a beer smelling soap you can get one of those and they're fabulous so that is a nice brown color and this fragrance oil does not discolor but of course the Guinness is already what it is so that's what you're seeing here with this nice toasty caramely brown color I'm going to split off just a teeny bit uh, and add some titanium dioxide for a little frothy on top I want my beer bar to kind of have a bubbly head on it to look like a beer um, but the majority of it is going to have the black walnut hull and then the you know nice dark gingerbread brown mica swirl that I'm going to use in here so we've got emulsion. I'm going to go ahead and split off for my mica swirl and my little topper. So that'll be for the mica. This will be for my titanium dioxide frosting on top. Not frosting, a bubbly beer head. The, you know, just the foamy stuff on top. That's what it is. So let me get, here's my black walnut hull and I'll add teaspoon in here and a little shy because this is less over here and now I have this oh this is such a gorgeous color this gingerbread mica I'm going to add that over here also and put my little thing here I've got my water soluble titanium dioxide that I'm going to add to my little topping here so everything's ready to go. I'll get my stick blender out and we can start mixing these up. 